Welcome back. We have to go back to the Citadel to talk to the Asari Counselor and also Miranda. But um, there are a number of places I want to scan beforehand. And if you're not interested in that, you can skip it, of course. I don't actually need anything in the journal or something like that. Places I want to scan, none of those actually um, provide us with anything for on the Citadel or something like that. But they do provide us with... Um, War assets and credits and maybe some intel, I don't remember exactly. Um, it looks, however, like I might need some fuel. I think the Horsehead Nebula is one where there's a fuel depot, yes. Because there were no fuel depots in those three systems. Which I guess they did to give you a larger incentive to try and let uh, Anne stay connected to the artifact longer. I think the Volholland Threshold, I kind of... Uh, Missed the system there, didn't I? Definitely missed something in the Shrike Abyssal. There are two new systems here. I wonder if those are also connected to the... DLC. After all, there are some places that you can visit, or that uh, if you don't narrow down the scan locations. Signal well, confirmed. Whether or not there's anything to find here is another thing entirely. 400 units of fuel. I'm having difficulty. At least the Reapers don't seem to show up here for whatever reason. Tyrex. Oh, and we immediately got the asset. We don't even have to scan it. Savorcha Labor Team. Tyrex, one of the largest objects in Thal's asteroid, asteroid belt, is a metallic asteroid with an iron nickel core under a rocky olivine mantle. It is possibly a remnant protoplanet, prevented from forming into anything bigger by gravitational disturbances from Xercio. Okay. I found something. Here at Heshtok, the Systems Alliance official once summarized his tour of the Vorcha homeworld as follows. Oh, this is the Vorcha homeworld. Interesting. You can make your own Heshtok in two steps. Take Hell, then add Vorcha. The planet is highly volcanically active, leading to periodic releases of toxic gases into the air and water supplies, as well as other extreme situations that gave rise to the Vorcha's legendary adaptability. Overcrowding and the extermination of most of their ecology led to a planet covered in weeds and hardy vermin. The Vorcha do not have a recognized single government that would allow them membership in any galactic league. Alliances between bloodlines are tenuous at best, and the Vorcha's short, violent lives ensure there are few lasting institutions. The Reaper invasion of Heshtok encountered little formal military resistance, but the harvesting process is slow. Destroying neighboring cities fails to intimidate Vorcha, who becomes submissive only if physically dominated in person. Cutting off their water supplies simply makes them adapt their bodies to get moisture from food. 
Allied intelligence hypothesizes that Reaper forces are not harvesting yet, instead seeking to immobilize Hashtok's population and prevent them from joining the fight for the galaxy at large. That's, uh... <laughs> capital disputed. That's some interesting information about the Vortia there. I found the Void Devil's Fighter Wing. I assume that's a Vorcha asset or something. Yeah, there are Reapers here. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. Found it. Faster than light jump successful. Three hundred and fifty units of fuel. Evasion successful. Of course, we already used the fuel depot in Zecha, so I cannot recover any more fuel here. See a Holland threshold. I missed something there. In the mica system. I assume it has to be in the asteroid belt somewhere. There it is. Reapers eluded. Oh. Faster than light jump successful. Fairy loss. Once a trio of asteroids formed around an element zero core, Farless is the easiest to mine for low yield ESO. Carbonaceous asteroid, Farless has a trace of water bearing minerals and organic carbon in the form of kerogen. Whatever the hell that is. Um, okay, this actually appears to be on the opposite side of the planet. Yes, I know how to do that. We found an element zero converter. Evasion successful. I'm running low on fuel again. I think I'm going to uh, get some more. Um, let's check. So I did that one. It's a Gord's Cradle. 100% Kilsen Rift. 100% Ninma Cluster is where Grunt's mission was and therefore has nothing to scan. The Far Rim and the Perseus Vill have nothing to scan. Hades Nexus. Atkin Beta. I really wish those systems with nothing to scan had some kind of indication that you'd been there. It would make things a lot Signal easier. Confirmed. Elatania appears to be a world eminently suited for colonization. It is covered by a verdant carpet of mosses, algae, and lichen, and possesses a thick oxygenated atmosphere. However, its animal kingdom is a web of microscopic symbiotic creatures that are both impossible to filter from the air and necessary for the native life to thrive. Unfortunately, they, were ca they cause anaphylactic shock if inhaled by non-native life forms. Settlement by non-native species would require either fully sealed environment suits or a replacement of the entire planet's ecosystem. 
Limited colonization has been proposed for altitudes above the organism's range in or in areas where favorable winds keep the air clear. This is actually a planet we visited in Mass Effect 1. I think it's where we uh, used the trinket on the Prophean uh, ruin. A number of the places we'll be seeing here are places we've visited before. We found an interferometric array. What it was doing there, nobody knows. And I assume that's a fuel Reapers depot. Eluded. Next up, Theseus. I found something. Pharaohs. Now that's a, a well-known name, of course. The Exogeny Corporation has founded a pilot colony on Pharaohs to explore the Prophean ru ruins that blanket two-thirds of the planet's landmass. The atmosphere is filled with dust. Terrestrial travel is hampered by crumpled debris dozens of meters deep. There are indications that Pharaohs was a much colder world in the past. Pharaohs has two large moons, Orkan, the Farder, and Vardit. Too bad we can't land there. Let's see how the colony is doing. They were under attack from the Reapers based on that one news uh, message we got. We found exogeny scientists. Oh. That was easier than I expected. 240 units of fuel. We were so far away that I couldn't tell exactly what the direction was. No, I'm not going to try that. Faster than light jump successful. Three hundred and seventy units of fuel. Evasion successful. Argos Row, we already visited. Gemini Sigma, we did not. Confirmed. That didn't look like it was in range, but anyway. Um, what a scandal of planets. Reapers eluded. Apparently not. The hunt system Faster isn't that one of the systems. Successful. I was involved in Hell on us Crime Lords, or could be very mistaken here. Mavagon is a small rock and ice planet with a thin atmosphere of ammonia and methane. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of tin with deposits of potassium. The planet has a rudimentary ammonia based life, mainly concentrated around geothermal vents deep underground. Severe storm cycles are common due to limited visibility, navigation may be difficult. We're not landing there this time, and we only found some credits. Evasion successful. Also, here is the Ming system. Quite far away. Another place we visited before. I found something. Parak. Perak is a l large rock planet with an atmosphere composed of nitrogen and argon. Despite lying over 600 AU from Ming, its surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of alumina with deposits of silver. Due to the radiation and heat, landing on Perak's sunward side with anything less than warship-grade shielding will likely be fatal. Perak rotates at a retrograde to the rest of the Ming system, indicating it is likely a captured body. that indicate it's the captured body? Couldn't it just have been a meteor impact or something that reversed the spin? Uh, 
And we found the Alliance Cruiser Nairobi for the Vert Fleet, apparently. And a fuel depot with 320 units of fuel. Reapers eluded. I think it was a this side. Yes. 470 units of fuel. That's good. So we used quite a lot. Faster than light jump successful. Hades Gamma is up next. I think there's quite a few systems in this one. More systems that we've already Signal seen confirmed. before in previous games. Trebin is a modest terrestrial world with an atmosphere composed of nitrogen and argon. Its surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of silver. Trebin's environment is relatively mild, but the scarcity of water or similar enabling substances has prevented the development of any biosphere. Exogenicorp recently performed a test impact of a single water-ized comet into the surface, the first step of a long-term plan to thicken the atmosphere and introduce water to the environment. A survey team is on the surface, monitoring the geological and meteorological impacts of the test impact. Most of the water released is still in the form of atmospheric vapor, but thick cloud banks have formed. There's every indication that this arid world will soon see its first rain. The survey team's progress has been hampered by frequent mechanical or computer failures in their GPS satellites, which had to do with the mission we performed here in Mass Effect 1. It's kind of funny revisiting all of those places. Even if we don't get the land there. It's a memory test to see if I can remember all of the <laughs> assignments we did. And we found credits. Usually it's near the Mastery Day, and this time as well. Plutus is up next. I found something. Nonuel. Although it is one of the oldest entries in the star charts, Nonuel has not yet been fully mapped. It is the largest body in the asteroid belt of the blue star Plutus, not only large enough to maintain a spherical shape, but also massive enough to retain the noxious carbon and sulfur dioxides venting from its many volcanoes as an atmosphere. Nonuel is, is rapidly volcanic, and the source of its great heat is also the source of its inordinate mass. Nonuel is a secondary source of element zero, coalesced around a large chunk of Ezo ejected by a supernova billions of years ago. Surface conditions are extremely hazardous. In addition to the thin crust and the numerous magma flows, wide stretches of the landscape are coated with slippery ash and cinders ejected from the volcanoes. Not a good place to go on vacation, by the sound of it. And again, very few of the places we visit in these games are, except for the occasional garden world. And we found Special Ops Team Zeta. Part of the 103rd Marine Division, apparently. Reapers eluded. Apparently, there's no fuel uh, depot there. The DIS system. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Signal confirmed. Oh, got both of them. Clensol has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. Its first geological surveys were performed by Batarians and suggested areas of great mineral wealth. Human mining concerns spent billions of credits hustling to the distant system and sinking test bores to claim the system for humanity. But Clensol had only an average level of mineral wealth, valuable but hardly worth the Russian expense. Merida Industria, a small Mexican company hoping to strike it rich in their first extrasolar mining venture, had to file for bankruptcy protection. Investigation revealed the Batarian crew had deliberately falsified their surveys, hoping it would encourage human rivals to invest in a costly boondoggle. While unethical, this was not technically illegal, and the Batarian government disavowed the personal actions of a few misguided patriots. The planet is littered with abandoned mining bases, which are often used as temporary meeting places for criminals.
And just some more credits. Two hundred units of fuel. I kind of want to see. Isn't there one a place that mentions the Leviathan? Ah. Faster than light jump successful. That was close. I'm not gonna read all of them. I'm just gonna check if any of them does mention the Leviathan. Evasion successful. Does not look like it. I think I got all of them, but well, if not, too bad. Reapers eluded. Too many Reapers there for my taste. Fornata. I found something. Found two somethings. Gentoma is a small, broiling terrestrial world. Its thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane is being steadily blown off by the powerful solar wind from the star Farinata. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of copper. Its density is low enough to leave the world tidally locked to Farinata. The Alliance Defense Data Network notes that several ships have been spotted cruising near Gentoma with transponders turned off. While an Alliance patrol attempted the pursuit of one, the un unidentified vessel rabbited to FTL. Its trail was lost when it obscured its light trace in confusion of signals along the, An the Anansi Ishtar shipping lane. Okay. And we found the Alliance Frigate Agincourt. And 200 units of fuel. This is not going to go well. Nope. I did not count on them coming from uh, the opposite direction at the same time. I found something. Well, we already read this, so... And this time, no Reapers to worry about, because I already knew where to find it now. Caicos is next. Signal confirmed. Chohi is a terrestrial planet whose surface is mainly composed of aluminum, with numerous deposits of calcium. Though it has enough mass to retain a dense atmosphere, Chohi is nearly a vacuum. Its lack of atmosphere allows a moderately average temperature, but the difference between day and night are extreme. The surface of Chohi's sur sur somewhat facing side is usually covered by a haze of volatiles, mainly water vapor and carbon dioxide, which return to the ground as frost over the course of the long, cold night. The Serta Foundation has established a research outpost on Chohi to investigate the native subterranean life of Chohi, which shows incredible resilience to extremes of heat and cold. I guess that makes sense that such life would form under those circumstances. More credits! Eluded. That took a while. Damn it. I need, to, than light need to be closer to it. Four hundred units of fuel. Evasion successful.
And finally, for this cluster, 300 units of fuel. So we're pretty close to full. Reapers eluded. Okay, so I've got those four. Norset Nebula has... Doesn't... I don't think it has anything. No, of course not. It's... Never mind. It's fuel depot system. It's a Novaria system and there's nothing to scan there. Well, if we're here, then I might as well. Get some fuel. Exodus cluster, kite's nest. It's down to 77%. Oh wait, we already did this system. Faster than light jump successful. Indris seems to be the only new one. I guess that's also a DLC system, man. There's no... Uh, nothing to scan here, but let's see what it is. Caver Station. Alliance Intelligence reports that there was once a sizable military space station trailing Heba that was tasked with arming and refueling ships to repel pirates, slave revolts, and foreign invasion. The Reapers wasted little time in destroying it during their conquest of Kamala. Okay. Well, that's kind of pointless. I found something. Cholas is a large rock planet wreathed in a haze of carbon dioxide and xenon. It was discovered by Batarian astronomers during the last century and first visited in the 2150s by hegemony sur survey teams. A small number of colonists lived in aerostat habitats above its oppressive cloud layer, harvesting carbon dioxide. No habitats can be detected now. It is likely the Reapers eliminated them, or the colonists submerged into the scorching atmosphere in an attempt to hide. Which I'm guessing would also not be fun. Not sure how it compares to being eliminated by Reapers. But neither option is particularly appealing. And we found Governor Grof and Pazness. Or something like that. We got the find. Evasion successful. Try to find another fuel depot. Reapers eluded. than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Got it. Three hundred units of fuel. Reapers eluded. Of course, we already got the uh, fuel depot Best here. Exit Cluster, Horsehead Nebula, Arturus Stream, Anos Basin, Athen Cluster, uh, Apian Crest, Krogan DMZ, Cilian Nebula, Athena Nebula, we'll leave that, um, Nimbus Cluster, Minos Wasteland, Ismar Frontier, Crescent Nebula is. That's something we visited before? I think it is. Sounds familiar. Signal confirmed. Oh, it's where Ilium is. Apparently we did not scan it before. Ilium is a classic garden world, an entrepot between the Terminus systems and the Asari republics. To abet this trait, the normally stringent custom laws of council space on product safety, prescribed materials, and sapient trafficking are relaxed. The world is hot and massive, ground settlement is only possible at the higher polar latitudes. 
In more equatorial locations, the population is housed in Arcology skyscrapers to escape the heat of the surface. Reaper forces met a surprising amount of resistance at Ilium. Its leaders were paranoid about keeping their fortunes, and were influential in both Terminus and Citadel space. They acquired a large defense fleet and a high number of fission weapons, and in the brief space battle used them on a Reaper fleet's troops transports, rather than their near impervious capital ships. As a result, the inevitable ground invasion had been slowed to a crawl as the Reapers manufacture more troops. Good for them, I suppose. Unfortunately, we cannot land. We can only scan. I guess it sounded familiar because we've been here in Mass Effect 2. Liquid assets. Near the... Relay, I would assume, but... Or near Ilium. This system is massive! It also takes the Reapers a while to show up, apparently. Which is good! 350 units of fuel, and I kind of should have waited for that, but... Well, we needed some fuel. One more system here, Lucarne. Another massive system. I found something. Strangely enough, I found the fuel depot first. Are there any more planets? I thought I got all of them now. Or is it in the asteroid belt somewhere? This is weird. Ah, there we go. Beyond, Lusarn's heat pummels the Narana belt, a, ye a ring of protoplanetary material relatively close to the star. However, this heat is not enough to instigate true melting as occurs in a planet's formation, so carbonaceous asteroids such as Beyond retain a primitive makeup. Beyond has yet to be exploited, so the Reapers appear to have ignored it. Probes suggest it's high in Chondrites and Troilite. And we found some credits. Okay, um, I, f I thought there was more. Not there, of course. It's possible that I need to do some more missions to open up the things that I'm looking for. Okay, then that is it for now. Quite a lot of scanning. I think it is no longer possible to go to Dr. Bryson's lab. Indeed. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Sergeant, I have a little brother. He went off-planet to try and make money. Hung with a lousy crowd. A week before the Reapers, my brother sent me this excited message. He'd found an organization with lots of pay, benefits. He snuck me a photo of the shiny new armor they gave him. White and yellow armor. Bam. Cerberus armor. 
Well, that explains uh, her reluctance to fight Cerberus. Spectre status recognized. Please select the destination. Um, One moment, please. let's see Miranda first, who said she was in an apartment at the Commons. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. And indeed, she's listed. Liara is still listed here, but I don't think you can really interact much with her. I'm gonna check the shops just in case there's something I want to buy. I did find a lot of credits after all. Welcome to Canala Exports. Not really. Canala Exports. We, we believe that a peaceful visit. heart is a strong heart. Welcome to Elcos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Thank you. Come Not here on. either. Um, I don't know which side it is, so... Looks like we can use that door. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. You'll have your access, Miranda, but I don't like the sound of this. I know, and thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No. They can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do, good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Do we ever get to find out what that is, that thing? We'll have to wait and see. The Asari Counselor is at the, um... Spectre status recognized. Embassies in Odina's office, I think. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Reaper forces. Refugees from Takuna are fleeing to the Citadel. 
Look, I filled out all the forms you requested. We already saw all of that conversation. I just want to check if there's anything on the Spectre terminal. There might be if we saw the whole conversation with the woman at the dock, but apparently we did not yet. Hmm. The Argus is available here now. As an update. Does that mean I did... It was actually available somewhere in Leviathan and I did not see it. I didn't look for it too long because I thought it just wasn't there because they already had it, but... I don't know. I don't use the Argus, so who cares?